in this hour. But first up, the U.S. Department of Justice is suing Live Nation Entertainment. That is the parent company of Ticketmaster. The DOJ is accusing it of suppressing competition and overcharging its fans. The federal government now wants to see the ticketing giant broken up. Benji Heyer has the story. Taylor Swift, a global star, the face of pop music, idolized by millions. But she was also infamously at the center of ticketing chaos that rocked her tour two years ago. Concert goers spent hours queuing online on Ticketmaster, paying exorbitant costs, adding to mounting complaints over the site and creating bad blood, damaging the industry's reputation. This week, the U.S. government stepped in, asserting that Ticketmaster's owner, Live Nation, is hurting artists and consumers by inflating prices and using threatening tactics to suffocate rivals. We are not here today because Live Nation Ticketmaster's conduct is inconvenient or frustrating. We are here because, as we allege, that conduct is anti-competitive and illegal. Our complaint makes clear what happens when a monopolist dedicates its resources to entrenching its monopoly power and insulating itself from competition rather than investing in better products and services. We allege that Live Nation has illegally monopolized markets across the live concert industry in the United States for far too long. It is time to break it up. Live Nation Entertainment controls at least 80% of primary ticketing at major concert venues, according to the DOJ. It directly manages more than 400 artists and controls more than 60% of concert promotions across the country, acquiring smaller regional promoters to stifle competition. And Ticketmaster also imposes a seemingly endless list of fees on fans. Good morning, Senators, and thank you for inviting us today to the most unique gig we've had in years. In a rare bipartisan effort, a U.S. Senate committee convened a hearing last year over Live Nation's practices. It featured powerful testimony from the lead singer of the pop soul band Lawrence, who believes Live Nation's position as a promoter, ticket service and venue operator creates an unfair dynamic. At the end of the show, Costs will have eaten into most of the money made that evening, and due to Live Nation's control across the industry, we have practically no leverage in negotiating them. If they want to take 10% of the revenues and call it a facility fee, they can and have. Live Nation admits there are problems in the industry. Its boss welcomes solving them through legislation. We apologize to the fans. We apologize to Ms. Swift. We need to do better, and we will do better. But the company, the result of a 2010 merger, has largely taken a don't blame me stance as it seeks to shake off the criticism. It claims the lawsuit filed in New York won't solve the issues fans care about. This has been a years long saga and it'll be many months until the trial, meaning those issues will drag on. Benji Heyer, CGTN, Washington.